these are the invisible lines on a stock which a market maker is watching. The retail is not watching this. They are busy just selling a call and a put option depends on where the highest open interest lies. They are busy looking at support resistance and wasting their time. They are busy selling naked options without any game plan, any strategy, anything. Hi everybody, welcome to a very special video. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna tell you volatility secrets never shown on the YouTube. This is a little complex but very powerful topic. Hardly anybody talks about it. But I'm going to not only talk about it, I'm gonna break the concepts so easy that once you understand it, you will never forget it. That's for sure. Smart knowledge for smart money. Why do I call it really powerful? Because if you do option buying, if you do option selling, any kind of a strategy, IV play a very important role. Standard deviation play a very important role. And there are so many books about this. But we gonna cut the gas, the fluff, and we're gonna reach exactly, we're gonna talk point to point in super short. What is IV? IV is implied volatility. Implied volatility is the guess of the market where the market or the stock is expected to go in the future. It will not tell you the direction. It will tell you the expected move. For example, if the stock is trading at 100 rupees, which has an implied volatility of 20%, that means the stock is expected to go to 120 from 100 or 80, 80. So that is what the real meaning of implied volatility. So implied volatility tells you the stock movement so far we understood, but the stock movement not for a week, not for a month, over a year, the stock is expected to go to 120 or 80, 68% probability, not 100, 68%. Clear? This is called implied volatility. This is the market telling you the expected movement. Note, there is no single IV number for a stock now. Obviously, when you just simple Google it, or there are so many websites which tells you that Reliance IV is 20% or 30 or TCS. It can be any stock, right? This information which you must get that there is no single IV number for a stock. That information which you see floating around, that is not correct because a stock cannot have a single IV number. Just like I told you, a 100 rupee stock which has a 20% IV means the stock will go to 120 or 80, 68% of the times. IV is derived from at the money options. Let me show you this. So for example, this is a nifty option chain. And what do we see here? The 25,000 is at the money. And what do we see? This 15.32 is at the money IV of the put and 13.57 is the IV of the call. So if you have to take out an IV of a stock, what we can do is we can take an average approximate IV of at the money most liquid strikes. This is the easiest explanation of a super complicated topic. This is the best you can ever find over YouTube. Moving ahead, because I have to explain you standard deviation, then I have to tell you how to let the maths work in your favor. Be a data-driven trader. Don't just trade shooting in the dark. That is stopping today. What is standard deviation one and standard deviation two? Now understand. There are so many tools which is for free. You can watch it. For example, a 100 rupee stock can go to 120 or 80. This is a 68% probability. So 68% probability is one standard deviation. If the stock go to 130 and 70, that is standard deviation two. That means 95% chances that the stock will remain from 130 to 70. The range is wider and there are 95% of the chance, just for an example. Now I'm going to give you an example which will make this topic, which everybody gets scared from, nobody paid so much of attention. I'm gonna explain you in the easiest language possible now with an example. Clear, you with me? Yes, understand it? Example. 
let's say reliance trading at 2800 with the iv of 25 percent this is the situation an example a hypothetical example which we have in place right now we are looking at option expiry 30 days because obviously iv calculates the annual move obviously when you're trading reliance we want to trade monthly options probably 30 dte if you trade us markets the same concepts work absolutely fine right so we don't want to know about annual we want to know about monthly so let's break it down practical knowledge only no theoretical theoretical stuff step one first we got to calculate one standard move which is 68 percent of expected range how do we do it annual range 2800 reliance is trading at multiply by 25 percent is equal to 700 easy calculation right simple multiply it it will come to 700 which comes out to be annual range of reliance but you don't want annual you want monthly range. you want to know how much reliance is expected to move one standard deviation in monthly so what do you do this is the formula yearly and then by 12 it comes out to be 202 clear so 202 is a range so 68 percent is a probability range 2800 plus 202 or minus 202 which happens to be that the reliance is expected to move anywhere between 2598 to 3002 remember there is zero guesswork happening how much zero guesswork you're doing exactly what is market is telling you now based on this we set a lower boundary that we pick a 2600 strike as a lower boundary that's you know majority of the time the stock will remain 2600 strike at the lower side at the upper boundary is 3000 strike how much percentage 68 percent of the time that means there are still 32 percent time that it may just break the range these are the invisible lines on a stock which a market maker is watching the retail is not watching this they are busy just selling a call and a put option depends on where the highest open interest lies they are busy looking at support resistance and wasting their time they are busy selling naked options without any game plan any strategy anything but i'm gonna tell you a better way to do about things now let's talk about how to make it even better because like i said it's a probability game in fact any business which you do in the world that is a probability game but if you do not try the answer is always no right now let's talk about adjustment what if it breaks the range remember 68 percent of chances that you know it will stay in this range but there are 32 percent chances that it will break the range so 16 percent on the call side and 16 percent on the put side simple maths we are doing no rocket science instead of just shooting in the dark at least we have numbers telling us what to do now in this topic i can go even more deep down i can make a video of 10 15 minutes the crux of all the iv information ever available for a person i could break down in easiest way like the video let me know that you understand the concept so far and nobody makes video on this particular topic because this is very complicated explaining it takes a lot of effort so if you want to learn this let me know in the comments and probably i can make a series just like i made for iron fly okay you can make an iron condor upside or below you can make it you can sell a strangle if you are slightly more higher risk taker there are a lot of things you can probably make a batman strategy anything once you have the range now the, it's not 100 percent still 16 percent of the chances that may reliance may just go up and may just you know penetrate the range then you should be ready with your plan first we let the probability play its part and then we have an option b how to play so number one consider rolling call if iv hasn't shot up good point for example reliance iv is 25 stock has gone up the iv still remain 25 23 something around that then what we can do is we can roll the call option up right which call option we sold we sold uh 3, call option right so from 2800 right if market go up to 3000 but the iv hasn't gone up now we can roll we are just not rolling when the iv is going up then it's a suicidal move 
I'm sure all of you must be hearing this for the first time ever. Important point. You must, must note this, right? Game changer point. Point number two, what else you can do? You can close the put in profit. So you sold the call and you sold the put. Forget about iron condor or, you know, just imagine that you're doing a strangle and you are a risk taker and you're doing this. If market is going up, then the put will be in profit. Yes or no? Of course, put will be in profit. Now, what you can do is, now, if the IV has rose a little up from 25, IV has gone to 26, 27, not a crazy spike, a little spike in IV, that means market is really expanding its range. In that situation, what a trader can do is square off completely, call and put both. So what you can do is now you can roll double. Now you can sell two calls, probably 3,500 in the next series you can do. So your break even really go up. You are not deciding what you want to do. You let the number crunching do its job for you. The data of IV is available on NSC website. Remember what I told you, the stock IV, there is no nothing called stock IV. It's derived from add the money IV. That is something which everybody misses. That's the reason why you find different stock IVs on different websites, because everybody is calculating different strikes of add the money. So you got to double check it with NSE. That's the reason why this data is sacred. This data is not available. That's the exact reason why I tell you hit and trial, giving stop losses to the market and not learning anything from that stop loss is a style of improvement, which is ancient. Now you can elevate your trading game. You can learn the craft in record time, just like you have learned right now. Also, people who share the video, who spread the awareness between option traders, they expect to book really handsome profit in the near future. That's the law of karma. So if you learn something in this video, and I have some more to add into this, make sure you share it to at least one person or one group. So everybody gets a benefit from this and hardly anyone talks about IV because it's a very deep subject, right? We are just scratching the surface. We can go really deep into this. You can get in touch to learn in depth. Just drop a message. You can get details directly from the team. Now, just to give you a recap. First, we understood what is IV. We broke the myth that IV, there is no single IV for stock. It's ATM IV. And then we calculate the yearly range from yearly range of a stock. We calculate the monthly range. And then based on the monthly range, we take out a probability. Even after the probability, the plan B is of adjustment. How to adjust it looking at the IV is the name of the game. If IV is flat, we adjust different. IV spike, we adjust different. We can take a hard exit. So many things which we can do, not just doing it at a drop of a hat because we know one adjustment. Which adjustment has to be done when? That is something which one can very easily learn. If you're paying attention to what I told you in between the video, I'm sure if you trade stock options, next time when you're selling an option, maybe a put, maybe a call, I'm sure you will have a look at the IV of a particular stock and you will take out the monthly range. You can also take out a weekly range as well, very smartly. I'm sure you must have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And like I always say, you are going to do so well in trading. You will surprise everyone. I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.